Dia, Filofaxi Girl. Welcome to my channel. I am going to go over my weekly calendar today, how I will set it up for next week, which is decorating and putting in all of my appointments and all of our schedules. Um, I'm going to try something new this week. I have always used these Sharpie pens. I love them. They don't really bleed through the pages as long as you have thick pages. And um, I, I love them. I just don't love the colors. I wish they had more colors available. So I usually use these pens along with my Precise V5 um, pink and teal pens. So instead of these, I'm going to be using these pens that I got from Target this time. They're the Stettler pens. And they actually have a very, very fine point on them, 0.3 millimeters. So I'm excited to use them. And they have pink, teal, yellow, orange, and a whole bunch of other colors that my other one didn't. So I've never recorded myself decorating my um, planner before or organizing it. So this is going to be interesting to see if I can set it up. But I hope you enjoy. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe. So here are my empty pages and I'm just going to start decorating. As you can see, I already have a few things that I know are going to be happening next week. So I put little post-its in here until it was time for me to decorate.
now that you've seen how I decorate my weekly pages, actually my two weeks, I thought I would show you what the past two weeks ended up looking like in the end. So this was the first week, um, little doodle that I've been practicing. This is my to-do list that is for this week from the 4th through the 10th. Anything that does not get completed gets an arrow. Anything that does get completed gets a check mark and anything that I decide no longer needs to be done gets an X. And then the next week, usually either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday evening, I will turn this over and do the next week's checklist, of course, adding more things to it. I still have quite a few unchecked boxes, but it's only Saturday afternoon right now and I still have today and tomorrow to complete them. So um, I like how it looks in the end. It's not too cluttered. I'm trying to get better at adding some cute little things to it and um, make it even more of a pleasure to look at my planner every day. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned next time for my monthly decorating and monthly planning. Bye! Hi, I thought I'd pop in one more time just to let you know how it went. Uh, that was really nerve-wracking. Um, recording while I was trying to put my stuff in, I completely forgot a couple of things. I forgot to add paycheck, pay bills, grocery shopping, menu prepping. Um, I almost forgot to add the page numbers as you can see next time. When I do next year's calendar, if I don't find one that I like a lot and I make mine again, I'm going to be sure I include the page numbers. Um, in my file so that I don't have to worry about writing them in and forgetting about it or even making mistakes because last week I made a mistake writing in the numbers and I had to white a whole bunch of them out. I also forgot back to school and barn dance so uh, I normally will refer back to my monthly calendar and I just completely forgot to do that because I was so nervous. So even my hand was shaky and everything too, but if you want to see the finalized pages, you can just go to my blog. It's keepcalmandplanon.com and I'll have pictures there of my finished product, which I'm sure isn't my finished product because uh, as the week goes I'll probably doodle a little more. I didn't want to doodle too much right now because sometimes a lot of things start you know getting added onto my calendar and then I won't have any room to put them. So as I have blank spaces I'll probably practice my doodling some more. And also uh, the pens. I liked them but didn't love them. I think I like my Sharpie ones better. My Sharpie ones are round. These ones are kind of triangle like drawing pencils so that they don't roll off of the counter, I guess. But I had a hard time getting a good grip on it, which was, they were really thin as well, the actual pen itself to hold on to. So I think that's part of the reason why I was so nervous. I could feel my hand shaking when I was trying to write. So nothing came out as neat as I would have liked it to. So again, thank you for watching my video and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.